What's up, YouTube? Dolly's back in the building. We're going to make some spaghetti and fish. Well, actually, I already made the fish. I'm just making the spaghetti. I just wanted to show you the meat sauce I'm going to make. I've already got my veggies cut up. I got um, one uh, red pepper, a half of green pepper, one onion, and a half a pound of uh, tomatoes. I mean, not tomatoes, uh, mushrooms. Whichever mushrooms you like, we're just going to saute these up. I put a little olive oil in here to get it going. Uh, let's get this in the pan. Get my onions in. I like my meat sauce chunk. You guys don't have to use a whole onion. Some people don't like that much onion, but me, I like my, my sauce to be chunky. That's why I add all of these veggies. It smells so good already. As soon as those onions hit the pan, it smells so good. Bring with the whole house. I put the mushrooms in last. Because you know this gotta saute up for a little bit. Put a little pepper, a little sea salt. Yes, I season my food in layers. I season it as I go. So everything gets seasoned. So everything be well seasoned. You season on uh, throughout each step you do. You don't have to go back and try to just sit salt on top of your food because it'll be flavored all through. Let that cook up a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to add my uh, mushrooms. I might add some more mushrooms because I love mushrooms. We're not going to cook this all the way through. Just doing a quick little saute. Get a little color on it. Get a little caramelization on there because this is going to finish cooking down inside the, uh, the meat sauce. So I'm just going to transfer this to a bowl and then I'll come right back. So I transferred the veggies to another um, dish and I'm taking uh, one pound of ground turkey. You can use beef or ground chicken if you like, however you like your spaghetti. Just remember with the um, ground turkey and chicken to add a little um, olive oil because they don't have much fat in there so you, you need a little help as you go. Season your meat up however you like it. And then I'm going to put a half a pound of Italian sausage. You can use turkey, regular, however, whatever type you want. But I, I'm going to get um, put a half a pound of um, Italian sausage in here. The one that's ground up already. I usually um, roast my Italian sausage in the oven and chop them up in there. But I feel like doing all that tonight. I just want it all one little meat sauce without the chunks in it tonight. And, and I said I said uh, a half a pound of sausage, Italian sausage, but I actually put a pound in there. So. Total, we have a um, two pounds of meat because I'm not eating by myself today. So, so I'm gonna let that cook up a little bit. When that cooks down a little bit, I'm gonna add some minced garlic. So now that my meat is half brown, it's not all the way brown. But it's good. I add my vegetables back. All that yummy juice from the vegetables. Mm -mm. Let's get that going. And this is when I'm... Wait, where's my... I add a 
full tablespoon of garlic. You guys know that I love garlic. And at this point, since I um, seasoned my vegetables, I seasoned my meat a little bit. I will wait until the meat is completely um, brown, and then I will I will taste I will taste it and see if I need any additional additional um, seasons. I'm not talking about herbs. I'm talking about any additional salt products. Right now, let me add, add my herbs. Well, it looks like I need to go shopping. All I got is a little bit of oregano, which is fine. A little bit of oregano. Sometimes I put basil in here, a very little bit, because that stuff is very overpowering. That's looking good. I'm gonna add a crushed red tomatoes. I don't know who's calling me. Okay. Okay. okay, a tomato sauce. I'm sorry guys, let me answer this phone. Sorry about that interruption. There's a phone call trying to see if the spaghetti is ready. <laughs> I'm just joking. So yeah, one up. Um, people was asking me about measurements because I, I I need to get better with that and start documenting and measuring stuff because I just I have a bad habit of I just freestyle cooking. But I guess if I'm showing you guys, I need to know you need to know exactly what I use. So let's see this crush these crushed tomatoes is um. Uh, a 28 ounce can, and then I just used a, um, a 16 ounce um, tomato sauce, and that usually is enough. And when I do, when it's when it's not enough, if it's too dry or anything, I always have this store bought Prego on the side. You, I mean Prego, Regu, whatever, whatever you want to use. And I add a little pinch of sugar, not to, not for it to be sweet. I can't stand sweet spaghetti. The sugar is just to balance everything out. So I'm gonna let that simmer. I already cooked the noodles, so we're just gonna let this simmer. That's gonna simmer for about 40 minutes. The longer you simmer it, the better the flavors are together. I forgot to tell y'all to add a little bit of tomato paste for the richness of it and then with that that's going to thicken up the sauce so you can add a little bit of water I pour water in here add, um, so I added a whole can of water Like I said, just let that simmer. Simmer. You can simmer for about 40 minutes to an hour. 